Miss Meek on the track. Miss Meek on the track. What's going on, y'all? We back with another tutorial today. It's a little cooler today, so I got a little bit more energy to explain and teach. So today's tutorial is gonna be consisting of two moves, the downtown and the snake walk. These two moves have been around also for a long time and they are not associated with the JB community, but they are just generic roller skating moves that I want to teach you. As you've seen in the intro, I did a little bit of both moves so that you have an idea of what you're gonna be learning today. So the first move that we're gonna start with today is the snake walk and we're gonna follow up with the downtown right after. But wait, you already know there's gonna be a banger video, so I need you to do three things. Make sure you like that video, make sure you subscribe subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell so you never miss another tutorial so I believe these moves are like jam skating moves or dance skating once again these moves are not associated with JB they're just generic dance skate moves or jam skate moves I'm not sure without further ado let's get into the first move which is the snake walk let's go all right guys let's go ahead and get started in this tutorial we're gonna start with the first move being the snake walk step one of the snake walk I want you guys to get used to being in a parallel motion as always you know the only difference with this one is your left leg is gonna stay grounded on all four wheels your right leg is gonna be on two front wheels so you're gonna be on your toes for this one so as you can see my setup I want you guys to take note of this what you're gonna be doing with your left leg gonna stay grounded on all fours until you are moving so when you are moving it's gonna go on your heels and toes heels and toes it's gonna be a consistent motion like this you see how my heels and toes are moving now with your right leg, your right leg is going to do something completely different. This is going to be what's going to give you your movement and the style. So once again, your right leg is going to be on your toes. You're going to bring it upwards and back. Let's start with that. Upwards and back. Upwards and back. Up, back. Up, back. Up and back so now we have step one down let's go ahead and move to step two so step two is gonna bring you a little motion and it might make you feel a little weird if you need to stretch go ahead and stretch first you should be stretching first anyways before you skate that's another tip for you but anyways as I said you're gonna bring it up and back now this is where the motion comes in so as you're coming upward you're gonna twist out and come into somewhat of an eagle spread but it's not going to be an eagle spread you're just going to bring your leg outwards so i'm going to show you another demonstration i'm going to bring it up out one more time so it's going to be up out so your left leg is going to stay grounded on all fours you're not going to pick that up at any time soon right now this one is always going to stay straight it might move a little bit in step three, but I will explain that later. So once again, up, out. Let's try it again. Up, out. Your left leg is gonna be in front of your right once your right leg goes backwards. You're basically gonna be inverting it. So up, out. Up, out. Up, out. So you're going to be inverting your leg to the opposite way and then you're going to pull it back forward. Now, for step three, this is for the full range of motion. So once again, we're going to start in our form. We're going to keep our left leg grounded on all fours and our right leg is going to be on two toes. So now I'm going to show you the demonstration of the move and then I'll be able to explain step three a lot more. Make sure you're paying attention. All right, now that you have seen a demonstration of the move, you can kind of see what happened a little bit. So, with my left leg, what happened is I'll be on my toes and my heels as I'm moving, but it will always stay straight. No matter what, it's going to stay straight. It may feel like it's gonna change a little bit, but you'll be going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You're gonna be using your heels and your toes. Not in that order, but you'll be 
heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. For your right leg, you're just gonna be moving it from this position back into a straight position. So they're gonna be parallel to each other once again. When you're finishing the move and coming back forward, they're gonna be parallel again. It's gonna go from parallel to perpendicular, parallel to perpendicular. Let me show you again. So look, gonna be parallel, perpendicular. Parallel, perpendicular. Parallel, perpendicular. It's kind of hard to do it slow, but I was just giving you an example. So once again, gonna start on our toes. Perpendicular, and then you're gonna bring it back. Parallel. So as you're doing it in the motion, I want you to pay attention to my left leg, and you're gonna pay attention that it's gonna be snapping back and forth on my heels and toes. So once again, one, two, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Once again, I'll show you another demonstration. So I'll show you another demonstration of the snake walk and we can move forward from there. So one thing I wanna know when you're doing this move is that you have to pay attention to your upper body just as much as your lower body. Your upper body is gonna be moving in a left to right motion. So as you're doing it, you're gonna be facing this way and then you're gonna twist as you're coming outwards. You're gonna twist again, you're gonna twist. So basically it's gonna be an in and out motion for your upper body from left to right. Upper body really plays a big part of roller skating as well. Some people think that you just move your leg, but no. Roller skating is literally a full body activity. I mean, sometimes you might not have to use your upper body as much for most moves, but your upper body is gonna give you a lot of control just as much as your lower body does. Your lower body can do all the work, the upper body will give you the balance and control. So the next move we're gonna move to is the downtown and it's more of a sequence. So make sure you pay attention and follow along. So I want to note this first, that this move requires you to be in motion. It's a sequence of moves that Kind of give it a nice little swagger, but listen, you need to be in motion for this move, but the way I'm about to teach you is gonna be step by step, so I am not gonna be in motion until the end, and then we can try to do it together in motion. So, the first step is you're gonna cross your right leg over your left, and then your left leg is gonna come backwards, and you should be outwards to each other. Now your right leg is gonna come behind your left leg and your left leg is gonna come step outward and you should be inward now so once again let's go ahead and try that again so your right leg is gonna cross over your left and then your left leg is gonna step outwards and now your right leg is gonna go behind your left leg and your left leg is gonna come inwards so this is what it should look like so one two, three, four. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four. So now if you do it in motion for step one, it should look like this. One, two, should be a two step motion. So once again, one, two, three, four. And now if you do it in motion and not stepping, but actually riding into it, it should look like push, 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 push. So I'm gonna explain it once more. You're gonna come up with your right leg in front of your left, push off with your back. Now bring your left leg to a outward motion. And now do the same thing with your right leg and push off forward and then come to a stop by coming inwards. So let's try this again. One, two, three, four. And you do the same thing going the other way. So let's try this once more going to the left. One, two, three, four. So let's move to step two so we can get a little bit more flavor into it. So now, when you're coming into the motion, so now it's gonna be one, two, three, four, kick, kick. So you're gonna do two legs with your inner leg. If you're facing toward the right, you're gonna kick out with your right leg. If you're facing toward the left, you're gonna kick out with your left leg. For example, one, two, kick, kick. 
One, two, kick, kick. Your best bet is to kick out on your heel. As you've seen before, I'm on my heel. So whichever leg and whichever direction I am in, I'm gonna kick out on my heels. Let me explain it once more. So we are gonna come from the left to the right, and then the right to the left. We're gonna do left leg over, outwards, behind, inward and now your right leg is gonna be fixed to be parallel with your left leg so now they should be facing diagonally to the right kick kick you can kick on all four that you can kick on your heels you might have a better chance doing it on your heels so one two now to go back into it you're gonna bring it inwards again you're gonna cross your left leg over your right leg and your right leg should be in the back gonna push off you're gonna be outwards now your left leg is gonna come inwards and you're gonna push off and you're gonna be inwards and now you're gonna bring your left leg to be straight as your right leg kick kick so I'm gonna show you a full demonstration of how the motion should look and then you can follow along one two It's a quick motion. It's not something that you would do a pause on. It all has to flow together. So once again, step, step, kick, kick. Step, step, kick, kick. You can kick on your heels or you can kick on all fours. It's your preference. I'm gonna explain this one more time for those who are having a little bit of trouble. So I'm gonna step in with our right leg right leg is going to be to the back now we're going to step out now we should be outwards to each other now we're going to use our right leg to step behind and our left leg should be in front and when we step our left leg out we're going to be inward so now after this you're going to move your right leg and you're going to fix it so that it's going to be parallel to each other in a diagonal way to your right. Now you can either push out like that or you can kick out like that. Your preference. Back to the motion. It's, it, it feels a lot different when you do it in motion to me explaining the moves. I want you to understand the moves so that you can start practicing it once you know the moves. My key thing is that you should always learn the moves before you learn how to do the movement. So if we learn how to do the steps and then we actually try to do it rolling, it should make it a lot easier for you. So once again, we're gonna move to the final step and we're now gonna do it in motion. So now, we're gonna step over, push off, step back, push off, kick, kick. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna step over, push off, step under, push off, kick, kick. So you don't have to worry about when you step under and then you should automatically put your right leg inward and just flow with it. So when you're flowing with it, your left leg should automatically just follow and kick in. So look, step, step, bam. Right into motion already. Once again, we're gonna try it again. Step, step, bam. We're already into the form. All right, thank you guys for tuning into the video, man. I really hope you can play this video over and over and over until you finally get both of these moves, the snake walk and the downtown. I'm not just gonna teach you JB content, but I'm gonna also teach you how to skate in general. So stay tuned for all the tutorials that are to come. I enjoy doing this, I enjoy teaching. I also teach in Chicago and Atlanta. I will be in both cities a lot. I might even travel to more places and do workshops and lessons. Stay tuned for that on my IG page at Life of Malik and JB Skate Chicago. Y'all know what I'm gonna say before I even exit this video out. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man, because I got a lot of people who watch my videos and they're not subscribed to the channel. Y'all can really make them numbers go up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tutorials. Make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video upload. And make sure you like the video and share it with your friends as well. Just another daily dose of the sunlight. Melanin is popping, you know. Oh, I was almost about to fall. But thank you guys for tuning into this tutorial. I'm currently holding my tripod and it's heavy. We out.